I really hope this angle looks okay. I'm trying to like switch it up for us so maybe we can like, you know. Oh, yes. Yes, softer lighting. Not too dark, not too light. Switch it up, switch it up, switch it up. Don't mind the background. We rearranged my bedroom and um, the walls are kind of a little naked, but it's fine. Yeah, we're still working on some uh, decor, which is why we have not seen a full apartment tour. But that is not the point of today's video. We are actually doing another unboxing and another review video. And this time, I mean business. Today we are actually unboxing the Queen's new skincare line. That is right, you guessed it, Fenty Beauty Skin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I am literally mind blown and I'm so freaking excited to be able to unbox the skincare, test it out, do our first impressions and see how we feel and whether or not we like it. But before we jump into today's video, we got to do a little shameless plug, right? So please, please, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the little bell icon so you get the notification every single time that I post a new video. I upload videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok at Corey Goggin if you guys want to see more. I am so freaking excited for this line launch. So this line launched July 31st. It took a little while to get here. I remember actually ordering on Thursday night before. I actually got an email telling me that it was like ready. So I bought it and I was so freaking excited. I literally sat up in bed and screamed and ordered it. But it came with three products, which is your basic routine for literally anybody, even if you don't do skincare. Came with a cleanser, a toner, and a moisturizer. Most important steps of skincare routine. If you don't have a skincare routine, you just need those three basic things, all right? I just wanna start this off before we even open the box, just by saying that I know that this skincare line was not made for me and not made for my skin tone. I know that Queen Riri catered this skincare line for our darker girls with some melanin in their skin because skincare for darker girls is like non-existent. And it's literally wild to me that we don't have that representation in the skincare line yet, but Queen Ruby, bless up. Thank you for bringing the diversity to the skincare game, and I am so freaking excited. I am gonna open this bad boy up. Sorry, the cat's kinda got to the, the paper. Um, that's fine though, but this is what our lovely packaging looks like. I will give you guys a little bit more of a close up so you can see the packaging as well. But it is very beautiful, very minimal packaging here. So it just says Fenty Skin Beauty. It's like a nice pastel purple, pastel pink color. And of course we have our products inside and they are beautiful. And there's like minimal packaging and everything is recyclable and we love that. We love when people have, you know, the earth's best interest at heart when it comes to packaging and things like these because a lot of the time the packaging is not recyclable and it just all goes in the dump and it's kind of frustrating. So, good job, Riri. We love this. All right. All right. You guys wanna play? No. No plays, only naps. Okay. Here are our three products and we're gonna just go through them one by one. We're gonna talk about ingredients and everything like that before we try them out, okay? So first up, we have our Total Cleanser, Remove It All Cleanser. So this retails for $25. You get 4.9 fluid ounces. It is made from 40% PCR, which is like recycled materials. And it is oil-free, clean, gluten-free, vegan. It has a twist cap. And the shelf life of this product is 12 months. The other really exciting thing about this product is that the label is in 16 languages. Isn't that insane? 
insane. Rihanna's really popped off and made this really accessible to a lot of people. So basically, this cleanser is made to take away makeup, dirt, and pollutants. Mm -hmm. it's, it's literally here to do it all. So the ingredients for this one are very, very interesting. The way that I'm going to break up the ingredients for these products is there is a hell yeah column, a kind of meh column, and then like a nah, we don't, we don't F with that column, okay? So in our YAS column, the first ingredient we have is glycerin. It is amazing, amazing for dry skin. The second ingredient in our column is Camilla, I don't know if I'm saying this right, Camilla Sinesis Leaf Extract. <laughs> God, I I don't know if I'm saying that right at all, but that is very, very good for oil control. Then we have vitamin E, which is anti-aging, and titanium dioxide is really, really good for sensitive skin. All right, so in our meh column, we only really have one ingredient in this product, and that is butylene glycol. And <sighs> butylene glycol is really, really good for dry skin, which... I am a dry skin queen, so I love it. However, it can be very comedogenic, which means that it causes acne and clogs your pores. So, take that with a grain of salt. The things in this product that I freaking hate. Hate, hate, hate with a passion. Hate, hate, hate with a passion. First one up, fragrance. And I'm going to say this right now. I think all of these products will have fragrance in them. I know Rihanna has said that fragrance is a part of the luxury experience. And I guess to a point that it is. However, I really don't mess with fragrance. It's just not good for me. Not good for you. Not good for your skin. Just period. The next ingredient here that I really don't mess with is polyglycerol 10 laurate. It causes fungal acne. And if you don't know what fungal acne is, fungal acne is like all of these little bumps. A lot of people get them on their forehead. They're just like little bumps that don't really go away. They're under the skin. They never break the skin, but it is acne. And it's because there's too much moisture or there are ingredients that are fungal acne irritants. There's also another fungal acne trigger that is glycol dissertate. And last but not least, there's benzyl salicate, which is just like an allergen a lot of people have. So if you have sensitive skin... This might not be it for you. I gotta take an orange juice break. So our next product in the box is our Fat Water Pore Refining Toner Serum. So this bottle retails for $28. So you get five fluid ounces with this, which is kind of crazy to see the size comparison between these two products that you're getting more out of the toner than the cleanser. This is a two-in-one toner serum that reduces the look of pores. It is oil-free, and it is made to brighten, smooth, fight dark spots, and fight shine without stripping oil, which is essential because I feel like a lot of toners that people are using, <coughs> Mario Badescu, literally strip your skin of their natural oils and the sebum in your skin that creates oils and you're basically screwing yourself over if you strip too much off your face. You don't want to strip all the natural stuff off the face. Just the overproduction. So this one has glycerin as well, which is good for dry skin. It also has one of the fan favorite ingredients, niacinamide. I said that wrong. I said that wrong. I said niacinamide. Niacinamide. Dyslexia. It's difficult, but niacinamide is really, really good for brightening and also anti-aging, and we love that. We don't want to get wrinkles, not yet, not yet. There are a decent amount of, like, meh ingredients in here. Um, first one is citric acid, which is just really, really rough on sensitive skin. It is an allergen, but it is also an anti-aging ingredient, so we're kind of, like, half and half on that. This has... Benzic acid, which is just an allergen, and this one also does have butylene glycol as well. And as for like a nah, no way in hell would I want to put this on my face, it has polysorbate 20, which is a fungal acne trigger. It has witch hazel, which is an extremely, extremely dry astringent that you do not want to put on your face, and I cannot stress that enough. And it also has fragrance. Last but not least, right here, we have our Hydra Visor Invisible Moisturizer. It is a broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen. So it depends on what you're buying. If you're buying it for the first time, the 
package will be $35. The second time it will be $30 because it is a product that is a refillable product, which we love that. Thank you so much. This product is made specifically with care of coral reefs in mind because SPF can be kind of tricky, especially when it comes to coral reefs and trying to be inclusive in skincare. This doesn't have any octanoxy or oxybenzones. It is oil-free, no pilling, and no flashback. Refillable. Comes with 1.7 fluid ounces, and you do get the drug facts on the back, which means that this product went through FDA approval, which is just amazing because if you know anything about anything, FDA approval literally takes forever, which is why a lot of brands don't come out with sunscreens right away or they come out with like not anything that's really helpful for you um it is a chemical sunscreen so just be aware of that it is made to hydrate and protect the skin against uva uvb rays we love it so <laughs> this one is like such a hard a hard thing for me honestly because there's so many good ingredients and so many bad ingredients so under like yes yes we love it we have vitamin e gluconoctolate which is an anti-aging thing we have aloe which is amazing for sensitive skin cools your skin amazing we have niacinamide once again we have sodium hyaluronate and hydro We have sodium hyaluronate and we have hyaluronic acid, which are both really good for dry skin and really good for helping wounds heal. And last but not least, we have glycerin once again. So all of these products have glycerin in them for your dry skin. Under the eh kind of side of this, which is like mm, not great, but like, you know, life, we have once again citric acid, which can be really bad for sensitive skin, but is anti-aging. And we also have silicone. So if you are a silicone-free queen, this is not for you. There are a lot of things. So the biggest, biggest thing in my no column for this is fragrance. I'm going to tell you right now, on this package, there is uh, one two three four five there's six listings that are all fragrance based ingredients and one of them just says fragrance and then there's five other fragrance based items on this list so this is probably going to be really really irritating to the skin just being honest next we have polysorbate 80 which is a fungal acne trigger we also have sorbet and olay which is a fungal acne trigger and just come out of genic. It's just really, really not great for you. So those are the product ingredients. Uh, I'm not really too impressed with them, if I'm being completely honest with you, but we're going to try them out, see how they feel on the skin. So I will meet you guys in the bathroom for that. So I know that this definitely is not the most flattering angle, but it's totally fine. This is just how the bathroom is. I'm sorry that it's so echoey, but I have our three products. These are the only things I'm gonna be using on my face today, and we're just gonna kinda see how they work. So of course, first off, we have to do our cleanser. So let's just, oh my God, it's pink. It's pink. So it's pink, it's like, very creamy consistency it feels like fancy like lotion like it's really 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 soft let's see it like it's got it in my eye um it didn't burn so that's great but um it's like a little obviously a little foamy, but not like crazy, crazy foamy. Um, it feels really nice, really soft. The smell is like, it almost smells like a weird combination of like soap and old lady. That might just be me being weird, but like, come on, we're gonna wash it off, see how my skin feels after. Like, that's really the true test. Like, a face wash can feel nice. All it wants all day long but if it does not clean your face or do 
the job or leaves your skin feeling gross after. Like, it's just not it. Right. Oh, I had makeup still on from last night, as you can see. Ooh. Sometimes that double cleanse just does not get everything, let me tell you. So, um, here's the tea. Um, after that, my face, like, just feels, like, really dry and stripped and, like, just tight. Um, I don't like that. I do not like that. It's not, like, super tight like it would be with like something else like a clean and clear or something but like it's still a little tight but i just haven't found like a good facial cleanser in general but i don't okay well i'm severely disappointed severely disappointed oh my god wait a minute is this a twist top too oh my god i did not know that oh my god that's exciting okay so this is like not really like a liquid, not really like a gel. It's like an in-between. Um, because it's like, it's like it's like a serum. It's like the almost like the elf essence type texture to it. It's really cooling. It feels really nice. Just glides on like really, really, really smoothly. The smell isn't overpowering. I do like the smell of it. It is burning me a little. Let's let that soak in just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh my God, please, no. I really hope that you guys didn't see that. It low-key smells like cinnamon. Why do you low-key smell like cinnamon? This is like, this is like pretty much dry. My skin still feels really, really dry. And I'm assuming that's probably because of the witch Hazel. So let's use this bad boy. So basically the way this works, I found out, is when you twist the bottom, it just like stays in, it kind of like locks it, closes it for lack of a better term. Then you twist it open and then you can just like pull it out when you're done and refill it. But here we go. Okay, so this is pink too. It's like a baby pink. It's a little liquidy, but not anything too crazy. It doesn't really smell like anything right now. All right. It's, oh my God, it's like shiny. So it's definitely gonna give my skin like a nice little like dab of light. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that really well. But like that's literally just sunscreen like right there. It's literally not absorbing into my skin at all. Like just sitting on, do you see that? It's just like, it's like sitting on top of my skin. Definitely doesn't feel as soft as a face wash, but still feels kind of soft. Um, still kind of sticky. All right, I think I'm ready for my final thoughts. I'm gonna go back to the bedroom to talk about this so we don't keep echoing. Shut up, Doreen. I'm trying to get a review here. If you are interested in doing your own research on ingredients, which I highly encourage you to do, especially with all your skincare products at home because you just wanna make sure you're putting good stuff on your skin and low key the beauty industry and the makeup industry is all kind of a scam if you're interested in more of that link a video for you above but use skin charisma skincharisma.com where i get all of my information on ingredients in products and everything like that you can literally search for a product you can literally copy paste from a website the ingredients list and it'll tell you everything that is wrong or good with this product individually so check that out so like i said at the beginning of this video i know that this skincare line is not made for me. It is cultivated for people who have melanin in their skin, who have a nice, deep, beautiful skin tone. So that I just want to throw out there right away that this is not for me. But as far as my thoughts, I will say these products are very, very affordable. 
They are not that expensive. I believe it was like maybe like $75 for the bundle on her website for all three of these products plus shipping. And if you use Afterpay, it will be cheaper. That being said, I... I honestly am like very, very sad and very let down right now. I was super, super excited for the skincare line and it is just like falling really, really, really flat for me. And part of it has to do with the ingredients. I was really kind of disheartened when I did my research and looked up the ingredients. And part of me is just like my skin just does not feel good right now after using them. My skin just feels dry and like achy i'm a little itchy so i'm pretty sure i might be allergic um but yeah my skin's a little red but i'm just this one is a flop for me Riri. a flop which really really pains me to say i love rihanna i love fenty beauty this was just not for me and i have let me put this in perspective for you guys before you come for me. I have really, really dry, red, sensitive skin. And I just do not believe that this, these products were made for anyone with dry skin, period. I feel like they're definitely catered more towards oily skin. Which is fine. It's just not for me. And I really, truly do not think that I will be repurchasing these products at all. I just... There's, there's really kind of no point for me to repurchase them if they're making my skin dry and achy and just not feeling great. So that's my review on the Fendi skincare line. I hope this video brought you some insight and some light, but please, please, please make sure to do your own research and you can use whatever products are best for you and what you think and... Hopefully you enjoyed this review and I will see you guys next time.